the goal of the show is to try to take in the whole of his photographic work and to find within that work uh, a, a coherent structure. In the work in the late, of the late 40s, when he began as a photojournalist, he got a reputation for being a great news journalist and for being in the right place at the right time. In fact, that reputation is a little bit misleading because most of his work is about things that happen every day. He also dealt with the modern world. And so it goes on to the, the new worlds of the United States and eventually ends with a section called Modern Times where he's photographing the avalanche of modern technology, the rise of consumerism, in effect, the creation of the world that we live in now. He loved New York. He first came here in 1935 after he traveled around Europe and around Mexico. Uh, and he had a lot of friends here. And he photographed in the United States more than any other country except France, and probably more in New York than anywhere else in the United States. And part of what made him a, a great photographer was that he could interact with and understand people throughout the whole social spectrum. So you do see uh, the people who are really down and out, uh, the great picture that's on the cover of the book that's of a mother and son being united on a pier in New York in 1946 when a, they've, they've been separated for all of World War II and they're, and they're reunited again. One of my favorites is a picture made in Foley Square where these two businessmen or lawyers or something, successful New York guys, one of them in a double-breasted suit who's really kind of like a peacock showing off his power to the photographer. There's, there's a picture on the television set of What's My Line. There's a picture in the McCann Erickson uh, advertising agency offices that looks like it could have been a, a, a design set up for the Mad Men uh, television show. And in between, there are sections on portraits. And he had a talent for, an, an extreme talent, for being able to anticipate how a situation was unfolding and the possibilities that it might make for a picture. Although he's, he's totally in the moment while he's working and it's all very instinctual, visceral, uh, you've got you to take the picture or it's gone forever. The goal often is to make a picture that looks like it's eternal. It's about something that is, is, is deep and powerful and is never going to go away. So this was where the, the animal instinct for the quick instant lend to a picture that lasts forever. He was an extraordinary person, very, very intelligent in, in many ways, and part of the reason, the greatness of his work was that he had an enormous amount of nervous energy. He could never sit down. He was always on the move and all the rest of that. And part, partly because of that, he was always interested in not the great pictures he'd made in the past, but where he was going next, who he was going to meet next. He, di he really didn't like to look back and say, oh, well, wasn't that wonderful what I did before? He was interested in what was happening later on that day. Yeah.